Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we are going to continue our broadcast analysis videos with UPNP. Let's jump right to it. All right, so why bother? Obviously, I've covered this in, in many, many videos. Broadcast can cause network slowdowns. Uh, they can even go as far as rebooting or freeze your PC. Even if it's not that extreme, you may find unpredictable performance issues unreliable Wi-Fi and a whole bunch of extra space junk or protocols that you need to analyze when you troubleshoot problems with your protocol analyzer of choice. Now in this typical network and, and again I, I've kinda condensed it all on one but you, you get the idea all these different devices uh, could use UPMP and conversely I, I call them his brother SSDP these are both discovery protocols that in corporate environments I've yet to find a valid use for. Now if you're at home, that kind of thing, you, you may have a use for it, but this is directed more at the business networks or even the business VLANs uh, you know, that you may have in your environment. So what are the sources of these broadcasters? Well you've got things like your printers, right? Because you've got to be able to find your printers, but again in a corporate environment you'll have print queues set up and, and things like that so you're, you're not looking for the printers per se. You've got PCs depending on the software that you've got in your computer you could be sending these out. Uh, some people install media players uh, that also automatically start transmitting and listening for UPnP or SSDP type devices. Good old internet cameras you've got some uh, wireless routers um, anything that might want you to find it usually has PMP or SSDP somewhere in it. So a little bit of history. Back in 2001, Microsoft came out with it and they almost immediately came out and said, hey, whoa, this is a security threat to all XP at that time, XP users. They even went so far as to issue a security bulletin that explained the issue in a lot more details. And, and two things happened. Uh, one is Windows XP 2001. People say, who cares? That's a long time ago. We don't have that anymore. But there's a big but here. As far as UPnP goes, it's not just an XP, right? It's still an ongoing issue. And if you just go to Google and type UPnP vulnerability, you'll see a whole litany of things that um, have issues. And it's, as of today, 156, 156,000 results. Uh, please remember, even if it's not on your system, uh, Windows 8 for example, you may not have UPnP enabled or SSDP. You might install a, a video player, media player, um, anything like that and then all of a sudden now you're sending them out again. So this is something that you have to keep looking for in your network. Now what? So how are you going to find these things? Well, you know, you could obviously go to every single computer and, and that's not scalable and not practical in most environments. The easiest way to clean this stuff up is just do a quick capture for UDP port uh, 1900. Uh, and all those devices with UPnP are sending out broadcasts or multicasts to the destination port 1900. On some protocol analyzers this will come out as HTTP using UDP port 1900. Uh, but it is UPnP. So you just got to keep your eyes open on that. So all I do is I start a capture UDP port 1900. In this case I'm doing it on my Wi-Fi and I want to see how many things I find with that port number. Well in this case I found nine, right? So if you go to in this case Wireshark statistics endpoints and you select the IP version 4 tab you'll see all of these devices and conversely IPv6 there's two of them out there as well. So now that I know the IPs then I can either remote into them, try to fix them up, uh, sometimes if you're lucky enough you can have some kind of uh, group policy pushed out there that's going to try to fix things or some automated way of cleaning this up uh, and I'm trying to warn you that and again I'll say it again even if you disable it today right next time you get an update next day next time you install some software this all may come back so this is something you have to keep up on so here's a screenshot of some UPnP devices we've got a, a printer desk, desk, desk jet printer uh, that has it on by default so you can turn that off. We've got a video camera here you know same deal so you gotta go through you gotta turn them off and I can't stress this enough I did a video on this earlier I have a, a Linksys camera I disabled UPnP and then I rebooted the camera started up my capture and it's still spitting them out. 
so the, then you have to contend with vendors and bugs in their software that when they say disable they really don't disable some other vendors you know got a patch or you have to do additional configuration stuff so please don't just disable it and think oh it's done it's gone I'm good to go that's not the case you have to capture again and prove that it stopped transmitting UPnP some devices actually have two configurations a UPnP listener and a UPnP transmitter or server or talker they all they all give different names to it and when you disable it you may be disabling the listener and the talker is still transmitting or the server is still transmitting packets out there so sometimes you have to turn it off in two different places just an FYI for you on the PC side of things uh, you can go and just turn it off as a networking service depending on the version of Windows you have you can go to your services and you can turn off universal plug-and-play and or SSDP in those two places and again I would start a capture I'd make sure that it goes away because even if it is turned off on your system you may have other applications that are still sending them out so I hope that helps uh, yeah that's about it hope that helps have a good day bye for now